people of YouTube. So today, as I promised you yesterday, um, I'm going to be doing a review of the um, Cressley Cole, the Game Maker series. Um, I finished book one last night, as I promised you I would. And I did this, I listened to this one on audiobook, and I want to say that it's a little bit strange in that the audiobook is broken up into three parts. So it's like there. Each audiobook is like roughly about three and a half hours, something like that, and um, it's done in three parts. But um, it does follow each of the, you know, each of the three audiobooks follows this one book, and it's the one story. And so, let's see. Let me start off by saying Cressy Cole. I've read just about all of her backlist. Um, there's a couple series that I haven't read, but if you haven't gotten hip to Cressy Cole, what are you doing with your life? You just need to like get hip to Cressy Cole. Her, I was introduced to her through her Immortals After Dark series, and if you haven't read this, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop what you're doing, go and get the Immortals After Dark series and read it. Cressley Cole is an amazing writer. She writes a story like Nobody's Business and Sexy Time for Cressley Cole. Nobody writes Sexy Time like Cressley Cole does. I'm telling you, hands down, it's steamy. So steamy. And this is no exception. However, my only complaint with this is that I felt, I want to say it was insta-lovey, but that's not right because there's it follows a couple of tropes. It follows like hate to love, the miscommunication, the forced proximity, the, you know, he, you know, he doesn't kidnap her. He basically is sent there to protect her, to be her bodyguard by um, this long lost father. So spoiler, spoilers, um, by this father that she's been seeking and been looking for and she's had difficulty finding, but the father knows where she is. He finds her. He sends a bodyguard to watch out for her. She then gets in a dangerous situation and the bodyguard then takes her. And it's then their story. So um, it is um, Alexei or Alexandra's um, Sebastian, his story along with um, grad student Natalie Porter. And so as once you get past the beginning part that I felt like was kind of, you know, the first scene is like she sees him in a bar, she like is attracted to him, she starts to talk to him, she sees that he's Russian, she's like, oh, please say that you're Russian. He's Russian. She studied Russian history and she's taken a lot of Russian courses so she can speak Russian or somewhat and so she says a few things to him in Russian and then he's like, really, out of all the people in the bar, you pick me to come and talk to? And so she's like, well, if you say it that way, and then it starts from there. But And then it's all like her point of view and her you know, fantasizing about him, and so that seems a little bit forced and fake to me. But beyond that, once you get into their dynamic, and he again is, and you're going to see a trend with me, I love these broken heroes that have had really difficult paths and challenging situations, and they've had to learn how to communicate, learn how to express their feelings, they're super alpha protective of their, their, the women that they're with, and the people that they care about, but they have a difficult time allowing other people to love them and to open up to them and to express what they feel and what they think to the people that are important to them. And this happens predominantly because they've been burned and they've been hurt so significantly in their lives that it just, they don't trust. And so trust comes hard. And they don't do it until, you know, they absolutely are put into a situation where they're forced to do it. And it's like either you do this or I'm done and I'm out. And that's what basically happens in this story. And I like also that this story gives you an education into the BDSM world. It introduces you to that. This is my first foray into also mafia romances. I have several other, you're gonna see me like look around because I got bookshelves over there, I got bookshelves over here, I got these, I got this one, it's my TBR like list. So maybe one day if you guys are interested, I can do a tour, a bookshelf tour so that you can see like all my historicals are over there. So at any rate, I'm looking over here because my Cora Riley, which I haven't read, but I have her whole collection of um, mafia romances are there. And um, so this is my first introduction to it. And, um, and and those are TBRs over there as well. And so the, my first introduction, and I am I'm here for it. I, I I'm, was super happy. I loved it. 
I gave it a five out of five stars. Um, Cressy Cole like does it for me. The, the way that it ends and the conclusion that they come to, I was super pleased with it. I was very happy. They, um, you know, as a spoiler, they do get their happy ever after. I love like they called it page page melting erotic. Like this book is whew, hands down steamy steamy. So next, I'm going to be starting today in the Game Maker series, The Master. And I'll do a review of this after I finish it, but it's one of the brothers' stories. And so I like these kind of stories, and I'm hoping that Cressy Cole, and she hasn't failed in the past, where she does, there's the backstory, so you get to see all the other characters as, like, cameos in the other. So I'm hoping that I get to see Sebastian, Alexi, and... Um, and those guys in this book as well that would be great i'm hoping that that's what will happen but we don't know so i will see you next time then also i was thinking that i might do i might do because i do want to talk about my 2020 favorites no it's late and i've seen everybody's done them but i i just wanted to talk about a couple of my 2020 favorites so if you guys are interested please let me know and give me some love and support and and like and watch and hang out with me but i do think i'm going to do a 2020 favorite so i'll probably get that up later today but that's all i got to say now so we'll be back with more crusty cole thanks